Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. What we're doing today is talking about some low budget trading methods, specifically post team of the year. A lot of people spent coins during team of the year on SBCs, on opening packs, and trying to pack team of the year cards. Maybe to no avail, maybe to a lot of success. But if you have a low amount of coins right now, or even if you just have a lot of cards that you're trading with right now, and you don't have that many coins to actually... Um, to actually use, I've got some cards in my team that I'm trying out as well as trading with. Um, I want to go through some low budget trading methods, specifically for like the zero to a hundred thousand coin price range, uh, and see if you guys need some help in those areas, like rebuilding your your club. Honestly, rebuilding your ultimate team after you've opened a lot of packs during team of the year um, or during the second half of the year in general. I think a lot of these methods are going to help you guys out because there are plenty of things in the game right now that require low budget cards and that people buy for SBCs. A lot of the stuff that we're going to be doing today revolves around league SBCs or revolves around bidding because a lot of people, this is the way they, they store up packs, right? And since we're in the second half of the year in FIFA 21, there's a lot of promos, right? You think about future stars, you think about shapeshifters, winter refresh. Um, we've had headliners already, but you know, uh, possibly Carnival or other promos that will happen in the second half of the year until we get to team of the season. EA likes to keep the promos rolling in that second half of FIFA to keep their audience interested. So a lot of ways people do to get packs in order to try to pack those new promo cards is league SBCs. This is a way that people can get packs almost at any point of the year. Now, these are different this year because they don't actually give out a player as a reward. They give out packs and these are out for a long time. So these trading methods are going to be here to stay. So let's talk about the first things, right? How do you know what kind of cards to look at if you're in a low budget? What kind of price range cards do you want to be looking at? Well, the first thing is I like looking at league SBCs and I'm going to take a look at the Champions League SBC right now. This is a league SBC that is basically the UEFA Champions League. And as you can see, the set as a whole costs 123,000 coins right now on the market. A lot of the squads are around seven to 16,000 coins. Now you want to try to find one of these SBC solutions towards the more expensive side of things for squads because when you see a squad that is more expensive or a challenge that is more expensive, that means people are having to shell out a few more coins and there's probably cards inside that solution that are going to cost you a couple extra thousand coins uh, for whatever reason. You see, if we look in here, 2K for Ritz, this guy's 2.3K. Basically, these Club Brug cards are making it into a lot of the SBC solutions and they're up in price, right? Maybe maybe not right now they're up in price, but these league SBC solutions, we talk about trading with league SBCs all the time because these cards naturally rise and, and fall on the market because the way they get sorted inside of this is I just sorted by the, the cheapest PS4 price. So right now, if I'm actually going out and looking at this squad, which is the quote unquote cheapest, some of these guys are 2,000 coins a piece. They might not actually be 2K. Or this guy, Dennis, 800 coins. He might actually be 1.2, 1.3K because this is the cheapest solution that's popping up. People follow it and they just buy the cards. They don't actually look at the prices and try to find the cheapest cards. So this is one way that we can trade right off the bat. And I'm using these Champions League cards as an example because not a lot of people, not a lot of people actually trade with these cards. I think it's this, Emmanuel Dennis is his name. Uh, a lot of people like to trade with silvers and golds, but they forego the trading methods and the money that you can make on these Champions League cards because of that UCL SBC. Now we, we take a look and at 1.3K, how many of these Dennis cards are out there? There's a lot of them at 1.3K, 1.2, and then there's two sitting here at 950, right? You know, I, if I buy these at 950, I could probably sell them for 1.2K, very small profits. That's what we're after, if we're flipping on a very low tier budget. But the number one thing I wanna to talk to you guys about here are bids, right? Take a look at these bids, this Dennis. Look at all these 650 coin bids on these Champions League cards that go for around a thousand coins or so. You can snag these guys on bid at 650 all the time, right? All the time these guys are going on bid because these cards are only really needed for SBCs. That's People aren't really playing the game of FIFA with these cards. So you know this Dennis guy sells for a thousand coins, add a bunch of the open bid cards to your watch list, try to get them on bid for 650 or 700 or in a range where you know you can make profit. 
and just flip the card. It's as simple as that because all of these cards have constant demand because people are always trying to build packs to stack up to open in FIFA. A lot of content creators, a lot of people that just want to open packs for the new promo cards that come out almost every week. This is a fantastic way to trade, right? So we talked about, you know, getting into these SBC solutions. Now you can do it with many other SBCs, not just the Champions League, right? If I go back again, I'm on Footbin. You go to the SBC dropdown, click Active Challenges, click on Leagues, and I'm inside of the Champions League one right now. But if we go back, you can do this with Leagues as well, right? Let's click on the Premier League, League SBC. Um, of course, you want to make sure that you're finding a squad in here that costs, you know, probably around 10K or more because you want to be trading with players that sell for over a thousand coins if you're on this low budget, right? Let's look at a one. A squad is definitely going to have some silver players in it, uh, I would imagine. Of course, West Brom is very expensive. Let's look at Wolves. There's probably some silver players in Wolves. We'll sort by uh, lowest um, price on the PS4. And boom. All right. So there's one brick in the solution. You have some silvers in here. You have some bronze uh, cards that are in here as well, right? Take it like Boer Rasmussen. 800 coins right now is making it into this cheapest SBC and you, of course you have some non rares right you ch you take a look at these non rare prices Adama 1500 Johnny is 1100 coins um, maybe you look at some of these bronzes right you know these guys are really really rare rare let's take up the let's look at this right back Bur Rasmussen how much is this guy going for Footbin says he's going for uh, 800 coins which is actually pretty correct. You can see there's a lot of bids on this, right? So people know that this guy can sell around a thousand coins. They're bidding on him for 800 coins, making a very, very small profit. One thing you can do also with these cards is you can find filters and snipe them uh, on the market. So we just talked about how you can actually use the league SBCs and the solutions on Footbin, but there's also different filters out there that you can find that um, you can just cons con consistently snipe or bid on cards that fit under one big filter. Now, one that I found, and I don't trade with a lot of silvers, there's probably bigger filters out there, is right mid that are from the Serie A, that are silver, right? Silver right mids from the Serie A. Now, a lot of these guys are going for 650 to 700 coins, but let's take a look at some of these on bid. Uh, you might be able to find some of them for 400 coins on open bid, right? 250. And this leads me into the second part that I wanna talk about. So, of course, some of these guys like De Silvestri, He's from a team that I think requires a lot of silvers in the league SBC. So he's not selling for 650 with the cheapest right mids in the Serie A. He's selling for over 1,000 coins. So this leads me into another filter that I can talk about, right? Yes, you can snipe by position, by league, by quality. There's a lot of filters that are out here like this. The right mids from Serie A that are silver is a big one. But let's go silver again. Let's go Serie A. We'll go with a max bid price, let's say of 600 or 500 and a minimum buy now price of 800, right? This right here would be a filter that you could set up for any league, any nationality, uh, for silver cards specifically. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna show you silver cards that have a bid of less than 500, but a buy now price of over 800. And what you do here is you do a lot of compare pricing and you do a lot of um, looking at those cards as they're about to expire. Now, right now, I think I have an interesting filter set up. For some reason, it's just showing me silver commons which I don't like, but um, you can set filters up like this in order to find low bids on silver cards that are about to expire. Now, the one tip I will give you with this is a lot of times it will show you cards that are about to expire. They have like a minute left or 30 seconds left. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to compare price on the card or you're going to want to click into the card you just looked at, click add to transfer targets, and then from there, you're going to want to compare price because if you see this card is a 150 bid on it and it sells for about a thousand coins, the cheapest one on the market, then sometimes when it refreshes your transfer market, after you compare the price, you go back here and it's gone. So if you add it to your transfer targets, that is a key way to know that you're not going to be losing that card in when you go and compare price. You add it to your transfer targets and you're not going to lose it to another person who's bidding on it. So these are the, oh, there, the filter refresh for me right there. See, now it's at 30 seconds left, right? So this um, uh, Denmark center back from the Serie A, 44 seconds left. I don't want to miss out on this deal, so I'm going to add to my transfer targets. Looks like his cheapest card in the market right now is 800 coins. 600 and 650 coins, right? I still know that I could bid on this for 350 
make a profit by selling at 600 coins, right? Or this this silver from Torino, add to transfer targets, compare price, 74 rated. Uh, looks like he's got bids around 700 coins. Not a huge amount of profit there. I might skip on it, right? Here's a uh, French center midfielder from the Serie A. Um, looks like his cheapest card on the market is around 1,000 coins or 1,200. So I'm going to compare price on this. 250 is the current bid, right? 250. I'm going to bid 300. Oh, see, there's people bidding up now. So that's something to kind of keep in mind. Brazilian goalkeeper. I'm pretty sure Brazilian goalkeepers are really rare in this game. Uh, and they're needed for SBCs at some point. This one's only 550 though. Really not a lot of profit. But this is one way that you can look for cards that are going to go too cheap on bid. And you can compare price and look at what they're actually going for in the market. And this works with literally any league. We can do this with League 1 because they have a league SBC, which puts some silver cards in demand. You can do this with the Premier League, the La Liga, the Bundesliga, any league that's a league SBC. You can bid on silvers like this. This is one of my favorite ways if I'm on a low budget to try to get my coins back. So that is option number two for some low budget trading. Option number three, and this one is something that I used to do a long, long time ago when I was brand new to FIFA Ultimate Team. And I like trading with non-rare gold, specifically the ones that are involved in marquee matchups. Uh, but it just depends um, on what is really desired in the game at that time. So what you see me do here is I search by gold common and I'm going to go through the top five leagues. Premier League non-rare golds, it looks like they're expiring at 500 coins apiece. What about at 450? 450, they're getting insta bought for Premier League common golds. Let's go to League One. What are these going for? 450. Wow. 450. League One common golds are very cheap. We do we want to stay away from those. There's no money to be made there. Syria, 450. They're expiring as well, right? So what I'm trying to do right now is find a league that has uh, common gold cards that are not expiring at 450 coins. So I only have one more to go. La Liga. Uh, okay, so La Liga non rares are selling at 450 coins on the hour. So one thing that I always did back in my early days of FIFA trading, this kind of got me into trading right here. Since I know that Premier League Golds are selling for like 450 to 500 coins, uh, I'm gonna go and try to buy loads of them on bid for 400, right? Loads of them. And then some ca cards like this, Carlos Vinicius might have some better links, might be a little bit inflated because of a league SBC, so what happens, you just go through here and I'm going to mass bid like 350 or 400 on literally all of these cards that pop up in the last minute. And it's, it's you know, it's kind of mindless, right? You just bid 350 to 400. There's a lot of bidding, so you can get bid banned if you're not careful and if you do it for super duper long amounts of time. But the, the I guess the advantage to this is you're making very small profits, but you have so many cards that it adds up very, very quickly. I made on a couple days uh, over 100,000 coins using that method by simply just bidding on so many cards, filling up my entire transfer targets, listing up the ones for 450 or 500 coins that um, I got on bid. And then, of course, um, you know, clearing the ones off my transfer targets that I did not win. So that's kind of a more grindy or sweaty method, I guess you could say. But that's something you can literally get on the game and do at any time in FIFA. Now, I think on uh, Thursdays for marquee matchups, you see a lot of supply on the silver. So the silvers that we talked about, they have kind of weekly fluctuations as well. They usually go up a little bit on the weekends as people are trying to pack cards um, from they're uh, from the new promos that are out. They go down Sunday nights and into Monday mornings because of the marquee match or sorry, the uh, squad battle rewards packs. So silvers get supplied like two times per week, squad battle rewards and marquee matchups. So Thursdays and Sunday nights are great times to actually get in on silvers and some non rare golds as well that are supposedly needed for marquee matchups and for other SPCs around the game like league SPCs um, and objectives, right? Some of these cards from league object, some objectives, are probably up right now because um, you have objectives that are out that people are wanting to be doing and wanting to get involved with. So kind of keep the SBC and objective demand in mind when you're figuring out which cards you might want to trade with using these methods. Now, once you've worked up a little bit higher, um, maybe you have like 75,000 coins like I have, one of the most popular methods for low budget is this one right here, the 10, 20, 30 method. You set up a filter just like this, right? Quality silver, quality special, 
minimum price 10 to 50, max price 20,000, and minimum buy now price 30,000. And this is basically gonna give you, when you search, cards that are expiring on a low bid, under 20,000 coin bid, and have an over 30,000 coin buy it now price. So what you're really trying to find is an inform or a special card in here, Phil Foden for 15,250, right? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to Footbin and I'm gonna search Mr. Phil Foden because he's a man of the match card that is in packs right now and I'm pretty sure man of the match is discard at 15K. Well, Phil Foden looks like he sells at 15K, so that's not a deal. But what I'm gonna do here, I have Martial, 84 rated center attacking mid. Um, he might be inflated a little bit because of SBCs that are out right now. This card sells for 15K, so I would try to get that guy at like maybe 11 or 12k he has a hunter chem style might mean his card is a little bit more valuable than other ones which is why that person is paying more but this filter is going to show you all types of special cards in the game informs man of the match cards as we've seen um ucl cards somebody has mass listed these uh romeros here for 20k and 70,000 coin by now which is really which is really crazy and annoying but a lot of these guys you're going to be able to do short-term flips and what you're gonna have to do is have foot bin over here on the side that you're gonna be able to like look up and try to search these player prices right, right away. Like I'm looking at a Ryan Kent card. This guy sells for 14,000 coins, but it looks like he actually sells for 15K. So you know what? Maybe I try to get this guy on bid for cheap um, or any of these cards here that you see expiring at cheap prices. That's kind of the 10, 20, 30 method. So you have foot bin on the side or you know the player's price in your mind. You know where you can sell them at. And this is going to be a great way for you to try to find some of those open bid deals. Joe Gomez, how much is he these days? Joe Gomez UCL card on the market is 11,000 coins. So we want to stay away from that one. There's no money to be made there. So this is just one of those methods that's a bit grindy, but it's very, very worth it. It can be very, very profitable because you're basically just bidding. You're basically just bidding on cards that are very cheap, very low priced, and you can easily make three to four to 5,000 coins if you find like this Malin inform. Wow, this guy sells for 11K. Really interesting. Um, but you try to find some players. Um, and this, this specifically works really good at nighttime. And when you have players pop up here towards the end of their listing cycle that sell for around 30, 40, 50,000 coins that you can maybe snag on bid for like 20,000 coins, right? The ideal flip under this filter is to buy a card for 15K and to sell it for like 20,000 coins. So you're making small profits, but there's so many cards that are expiring every single minute that there's tons of potential to make those bids and to make those profits um, on cards that are expiring on bids. So there's a lot of competition on some of those bids, but that's another one of the ways that you can be trading with a low budget right now in FIFA. And this is stuff that works all the time, right? It kind of works all year, especially 10, 20, 30, especially the, tr the trading with the league SBCs and the silvers and stuff like that. So as you can see here, I did win this bid on my center midfielder that was Danish. So I'm going to list this guy up because I'm pretty sure he was like 700 coins or something around there. So I'm gonna make a cheeky 300 coins after my 5% tax on this card. I'm gonna list them at 650. Uh, boom, I'm making 300 coins right there. If I can do that, like if I can win two or three cards every couple minutes, you're just gonna start raking in the coins. It's gonna compound and compound and you're gonna be able to start trading with bigger cards like bigger informs, live items. These cards are over in the 100,000 coin range and bigger profit to be made on even some of those cards. So that's the low budget trading video. I know a lot of you guys have low coins since it's after team of the year, but you want to build it back up. Hopefully these methods will help you do that. If you did enjoy, make sure you hit the thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan Foot Account and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.